All mathematicians love a good definition. But they aren't as prominent in algebra as they are in other fields. So that makes geometry many students' first introduction to this important concept. So we start off with three objects that are almost non-definition definitions, since they're hard to define precisely. In fact, they're often referred to as the undefined terms of geometry. So to get these ideas across, what we're going to do is we're going to fall back on everyone's standard English understanding of the terms. And the first of these objects is a point. A point is a zero-dimensional object that's usually labeled with a single capital letter. The second term, a line, is an infinite sequence of points, something that has length but no width. Now, lines are usually labeled with a single lowercase letter, but if we know two specific points on the line, we can also name the line by writing those two letters with a little line over them. And finally, the third term is a two-dimensional plane, and those are usually labeled with a Greek letter. Now, if we start with the line, we, we can break it up into parts in some kind of interesting ways. The first way that I've got over here on the left-hand side is what's called a segment. So if we take a line and we take two distinct points on the line, then everything in between those two points is what we call a segment. And the way we write a segment is very similar to the way we write a line. We have the two endpoints, and we put something that looks like a little segment over it. All right, now, the second thing uh, that we can kind of pull out of the line is what's called a ray. And for a ray, we're going to start in kind of the same place we did with a segment. We're going to start with a line with two points on it. But this time, instead of taking everything between those two points, we're going to start at one of the points and take everything on that line going off in one direction. So in a sense, it's kind of half of a line. Right? And this is what we call a ray. And we write a ray uh, using this very same notate, very similar notation to what we've used for lines and segments. We're going to do two letters, uh, and we're going to do something that looks like a little ray over the top of them. Now, here we are uh, going to be a little more specific. The first letter that we use in the, def in the, in the symbol, the C in this case, has to be the starting point or the beginning point of the ray. Can't be, can't be just any point. In the next lecture, we're going to extend these concepts by looking at what kinds of shapes we get when we have three points that don't all lie on the same line.